Hey everyone, it's Alex from Alex's Creative Corner here, um, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a mini version of Sunny the Sandwing from Wings of Fire. Uh, um, I guess long time no see because I haven't posted a video in a very long time, probably since like September. I'm really sorry about that. Um, had a lot of art block and also just been really busy with school and tennis and other stuff but I'm gonna try to get this video out to you um yeah so I guess we can get started here's something Drew of Sunny put that over there um and so in this part this first part video we're gonna be making her wings back legs front legs and I'll show you how to make the head so we're gonna start, oh and also yeah, we're gonna start out by making her, um, her, her sail that goes on, on her back and, so, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we'll get started on that first. So going with orange bands, I'm gonna start right here, just going like that. I'm going to skip one. I might just do every, every three, I'll just skip one. And then I'm going to do a double looped one right here. Another double looped. Just a double loop band right there. Um, so now it's just like that. I'm gonna go with two orange bands at a time. Put two on that peg. And then I'm gonna go two down like that. Like that. Diagonally downwards and upwards. And just keep going pretty simple. And then we're gonna, we have to make this first because we have to attach it onto the head, which we'll make next. And I'm gonna make this like pretty long because it has to, um, be long enough to go on pretty much her whole body. I'm gonna do a double loop here. And a double loop here. And one right here diagonally downwards. Like that. Now I'm gonna take an orange band, wrap it around this peg creating three loops, just three, because I kind of want it to be loose. I'm going to start looming. So dig down, grab those double loop, grab the top two, and then just looming the top two right now. And then this part where there's these two loose bands, you want to grab them right here and also like hold them with your finger on this side. So it's like this. Kind of loom them. And then get it so all four of the loops are on your hook. And then you can just get a random colored band and tie this off. Doesn't matter what color band because we'll take it off later. Now we're going to go back in each set and loom the last two bands that are there and they all go down none there um, 
Um, now I'm going to just tie off all of these ends with random colored bands. It doesn't matter what color at all. They won't be used, or they'll, they'll be take, taken off later. So it can be just any. You don't have to tie off the ones where it, like the diagonals go down because they won't come undone. But I'm just doing it to like mark my place. Sorry, this is taking me a while. And then you don't need to tie off that last one because it's capped off. Now we can start to take this off the loom. It's not completely done yet because we still have to make extensions so that it will be able to eventually fit on the whole back and tail. It's not too hard because it's the sail is pretty simple. wonky, but it doesn't really matter right now. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna start right here. Skip that one. Actually, no, I'm going to make that three and take that out. It doesn't really matter that much, but I want this to go like, I'm going to make that one four. And now I'm going to go with two on that peg and going down. Gonna, we're almost done. Diagonally down and up. And then I'll do one down right here. So we have this piece that we've made. Um, so you see this end with the double loops and the cap band? Go the other end that has the tying band and this loop. This is very unloop. You can take off the tying band and place these four loops onto this peg. Now you can start to loom and just grabbing the top two and limbing them up.
make sure it doesn't come off the loom. Might happen if you're going really fast or like pushing. two loops and then two out here kind of looming it and reclaiming them so there's four loops on your hook just gonna tie that off now we're gonna go back and loom the rest of the two bands that are left in each set they all go down Just going to get some bands and tie off all these ends. And one more. Now we can take this off. We just have one tiny little bit left to add on. Just a little bit of double looped bands. So double loop right there, double loop right there. And then a double loop, one diagonally upwards, one right here, and downwards. I'm going to take the part that we tied off. And place all four loops onto this peg. We're going to loom the double loop bands. On the top. And then the ones that go down. We're going to tie off the three ends that we have, four maybe, I'm just going to do this one. You don't have to do that one. But I'm just doing it to mark it. Okay, so here's the sail thing. Don't mind that it looks messy. It'll look better when it's on the dragon. So next, we're going to be making the head. I'll show you what I was... What I did here. So, on the... Is this better like this? Oh, definitely like this. I can make it lighter. Um, in the middle, on the fourth peg from the bottom, go with two oranges once, 
and then the rest of the way down, which should be like eight, eight times double looping orange bands. And then on the side, after you've done that, on the sides, on the fifth peg from the bottom, with double looped gold bands, go down five times on each side, then go twice with double looped yellow bands, go once on each side with double looped mango, I think. Mango, no, not mango, um, just like neon orange mango, I think they're like the same thing. And then with two orange bands diagonally on to this side, to the middle, and this side to the middle. Then you can take an orange band and wrap it around this peg four times to create a capping band. So you can pause the video, do that. Once you've done that, we're gonna get gold bands and we're gonna double loop them for our holding bands. I'm just going to go all the way down in gold. Uh, and actually don't do these right here yet. Um, one second. Just get, so you can use normal white bands or you can use Alpha Loom white bands, which are smaller. If you're using these, you could just wrap it around your hook three times and slide it onto the, the mango. Make another one. Onto the yellow, or onto the mango. And then I'll do If you're doing like normal rainbow loom white bands, then you don't need to use, you don't need to do four teeth, you only need to do two since they're bigger. But if you're using the alpha loom bands like me, you can do four on the four sets. So once you've made those teeth, we can continue with our holding bands. that are gold. And these last ones, I'm gonna do them on orange. You don't have to, I'm just going to. Um, next, we are going to do, we're gonna make the eyes. So, I'm gonna start by making the eyelids with an orange band. I'm gonna wrap it around four times on my hook. Double loop in orange. Slide on the cap band. I'm gonna take a black band, wrap it around four times. Then I'm gonna take a alpha loom band. Mine is like green or lime green or something. You can use your rainbow loom band. If you're doing a rainbow loom, wrap it around twice and then on each side. If you're doing alpha loom, you just have to do it once, twist it on each side. And then you can reclaim this uh, orange bands over the part that looks like an X. You can just cover that with the eyelid. Um, sorry if my chair makes any noises. Um, we're gonna just Make another eye exactly the same on the same hook. So wrap an orange around four times, double loop an orange. Hold that on your finger, take a black, wrap it around four times. Take a lime green. If you're using alpha loom, just wrap it on once, twist it and once on each side. If you're using rainbow loom band, just wrap it twice and then twist on each side. 
and cover up the X with the eyelid, push them together. We can adjust them more later. So now we are going to take a double looped orange band. So take one, wrap it around the end of the hook twice. We're gonna pull everything onto this in order. So make sure everything's in order. So the orange, the green, the black, the green, orange. So there's one eye on there. We're gonna do the second eye. So the orange loops, the green, the black, the green and the orange. So we've got both eyes on there. Got two loops on your finger. I'm gonna put two of the loops onto the third peg from the top on each side. So two loops go there, and the other two loops go right across from that. Um, so you're gonna push your eyes apart from each other and then in the middle, try to get two of the four loops of the of these pans. Here, I'll zoom in. Try to get, oh, sorry, it's shaking. So try to get two of these four loops. You're gonna try to stretch it all the way here. This part can be very hard because they'll snap. It's happened to me. I'm gonna pray it doesn't happen right now. I'm gonna try to steady it over. Never do this with like silicone bands because those, they snap really. Okay, I'm just gonna do this off camera. Okay, so I got it on. It snapped the first time, but I was able to get it on. Um, it helps if you put one these loops right here and then do this part and then this. Um, so I've got it on. It looks kind of weird right now, but it'll look better when it's done. We're going to start looming, but don't go too far ahead because we'll be attaching stuff. So I'm going to loom these first two. They go diagonal right there for me. My next top two, they go diagonal right there. And before we loom these next middle bands, there's a little spike that I'll show you how to make. So in this open space that we're not using right now, get a gray band, find just two pegs, get, um, make sure you have grip on it, um, figure eight, oh, figure eight, twist it onto there like that, and then double it over like that. I'll go over it again. I'll zoom in. So you have your gray band, figure eight it, and then twist it around, and, oh, let me start over, um, figure eight it, like that, and then twist it around, and go over those two pegs again. Then you're gonna go in under, grab the bottom two, which are there, Lift them over the peg, grab the next bottom two, lift them over that peg. Then you can take this off. It's going to be this little spike. Um, put the two loops on your hook. So just make that. And then go over here. Once you've made that, dig down, loom up the bottom two loops, and slide on this little spike and loom over. Loom up once more. And now we can loom on the sides. Loom up on the sides twice, but only two times. So once and twice. That's it. And same thing on the other side. Dig down, bottom two, loom up. Dig down, bottom two, loom up. 
Next, we're going to make the little horns. I've made one. I'm going to show you how to make it. How to make it. So, with gray bands, wrap one around your hook four times. Double loop a gray. Double loop another gray. Pull it on, reclaim, and one more gray. Pull that on. So it's three grays, and now I'm going to take a double looped gold, pull that on, slide it over, and that's your horn. So we're going to dig down where we loomed up to on the side, so on the third peg. Dig down, grab the bottom two loops, which should be yellow, and loom them up. Before looming them over, slide on that horn. And then you can loom over onto that next peg. So go ahead and make another horn exactly like that. Um, I've already made one. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Go down in the third peg, grab the bottom two loops, which are yellow. Slide on the horn and loom it over. Just like that. Um, now you can loom all the way down on both sides, but um, be don't be like reckless or anything because these are still double loop bands and they can snap easily. And when they snap, they're um, they don't have a replacement band there like like there is when you do double bands, so they'll snap and you'll have to replace them. So now in the middle, we're going to start to attach this. So find the end with the capping band. So it should have three loops if you did it, if you did three like me. So go through the three loops with your hook and dig down into this peg in the middle that we loomed up to, which is the third peg. Grab the bottom two loops of orange band, pull them through and loom over. So you have this thing like this, flip it over this time, go th through the first set, all four loops, take off the tying band, um, dig down in the set that you loomed up to, grab the bottom two orange bands, pull them through, and loom over. You're going to flip your sail over again, go down into the, oh, actually, um, go down into the next four loops, take off the tying band, and grab the bottom two orange bands, loom them up, pull through the four loops, and loom it over onto the next peg. You don't really need to keep going right now because it's going to get tight right here, so we're going to gently start to relieve like the tension. it off. Don't go too far. And I'm just going to do this one. Like that. So we're going to keep going. So flip over your sail again. Go down into the four loops. Now they're double bands. They're not double loops anymore. Um, we're gonna dig down into the next peg, loom up double loop, or pull up the double loop, pull them through, and loom over. Flip over your sail. It should start to be getting a bit easier for you, because it's very repetitive, and we're just doing that. You can start to pull up a little bit of your head. So it doesn't get too tight. Go through your next four loops. Flip it over. Down, 
them up, pull them through. Like that. And now we're just gonna tie off each of the three ends with three random colored bands. And we're gonna very carefully take the rest of this off of our loom. Um, so you can adjust your head if it looks a little bit floppy, just adjust it to your liking. Um, If you don't like that spike that's on her, you can just take it off. Just gonna adjust her head a little bit and then I'll move on to the next part, which will be the legs. Um, so here she is. I'll probably adjust that head a little bit more after but this is what it looks like. This isn't the entire head, obviously, since there's not the bottom jaw. We do that when we make the belly, if you're new here. Um, so here's this part, don't mind that. We'll be attaching that as we make the body. Now we're just going to make the front leg. Um, I'm gonna clip this off a little bit. Sorry about that. So the legs are really simple. All you gotta do is um, two bands, two gold bands, um, go down three times. Then in the middle, the middle row, go down twice. Then diagonally to here, and then three gold bands go down twice with that. Three, three. Um, now. We're going to take a gold band, wrap around this peg twice. I'm just going to double loop it. Double loop another for our holding bands. Now we're going to make the toes, or like not just like the foot. Um, so gray band, wrap it around four times. Double loop a gold. Pull on the gray band. Reclaim. That's just one toe. You need to make three more so that you have four. So there's two. There's three. And Here's four. Now I'm going to take a gold band, double loop it, and pull everything on there. So all four toes pull onto that double looped gold band. And I'm going to take another gold band. Wrap it around three times. And then you can reclaim this loop that was that you had. So now it looks like this so far. Now, now we're gonna make another toe. It's gonna be like the thumb. So just exactly the same uh, cat band of gray and a double looped gold. Now we're going to take Now we're just going to double loop the gold band and pull on everything. So pull on that thumb and then these two loops, then the three loops and then two loops. Reclaim that.
So here's like your front foot. The back leg, the back foot will be different. And we're just going to put this on this, put it on this peg. with the thumb, the thumb toe, like, or the thumb, just that. Make sure it's facing down when you put it onto this peg. So if this is your first, if this is the first front leg that you're making, you want it to face down. If it's your second front leg, we're making them symmetrical, you're gonna want it to be facing up. And also if it's your second front leg, we're about to be making these little spots and I'm gonna be like looming and sliding them on like this on only if it's your first front leg if it's your second front leg don't don't do that you're gonna want to you're going to want to have done that before we started looming so you would slide it on and then we would loom Um, but since this is our first, or your first, we're going to loom up, grab the bottom three bands. Um, um, there's this solar yellow band. The name of it will be in the description. I'm just going to call it solar yellow. And we're going to wrap it around, it might be Jupiter or something, I'm not sure. Um, wrap it around your hook four times to create a cap band. Um, loom up the first three bands, slide this on, and then loom over. And then, again, loom up, slide on, loom over. Loom up the top two, diagonally, then I'm gonna loom up these two and these two. And then make another cap band, the solar yellow bands. Loom up, slide on, loom over, loom up, slide on, loom over, and one more time. And so if this was your second front leg, you would just, instead of sliding these cat bands on while looming, you would slide them on the on these bands before you loomed, so it would be on the bottom side of them, like that. So now we're just going to tie off these two ends, and then I'm going to take this off of the loom. Um, you can adjust it a little bit. tug on it and stuff. Um, and then go ahead and make a second front leg before we move on to the back legs. So that was my second. I've made two now. And if you do the how I told you to do the, how to do it symmetrical, then they'll end up being symmetrical like this. This is how you want it to be. Um, now we're going to make the back leg. It's similar, but it's a little bit different. So taking two gold, go down three times, and then two, still two at a time, there, and then diagonally. Now taking three gold bands, we're going to go right there. Now we're gonna just use um, double loop gold bands for the holding bands, and we're gonna do we're gonna make the feet. So make three toes. Um, one second.
Okay, so you're gonna make toes exactly how you did on the front, um, the front foot. So it's just a gray band wrapped around four times to create a calfing band, and then a gold band double loop, pull it on. Um, for the back leg, make three of them. Make three of them, so it's like this. And then we're going to double loop a gold band, slide all three toes onto that, and then take a gold band, wrap it around three times, reclaim this double loop band, Next, we're just going to double loop a band, pull everything on in order, and and now we're going to make one last, one last toe exactly the same so with gray cat band and double gold so I made that toe and now take two bands we're gonna do like a two, double band double loop thing so take two bands and double loop them so now you have four four loops on your, put them on your finger now slide everything on so this toe and then these four loops and then you can reclaim it and adjust it a little bit. But here's the back foot. So now, actually no, we need to adjust it a little bit. So this, this thumb kind of toe, you want, so you see how there's four loops right there? Lift up two of them and slide the thumb under. So that it's in between, so that it's kind of sticking up in the middle. So it's like that. So when we attach it, you no matter if it's your first back leg or second back leg, no matter which one it is for you, you want to attach it the same either way. Put it on and make sure that. Put it on so that the thumb kind of toe, the thumb toe is facing this way. Towards you, I guess, if you're doing it like I am. So it's facing like that. Um, the same way as it's facing there. You you, you get it. Um, and we're going to do our solar band cap bands. So loom up. Grab the bottom three. Oh, I think one of mine broke. Somehow, I'll just ignore me. I'm just going to fix that. Slide that cat band onto the three loops. Loom up the diagonal, if that's your first. Um, the top two bands. Loom up there and there. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Sorry if this keeps shaking. Um... Um, make the cat bands, them up, slide on, them over. Oh god. Now we're going to tie off both of these ends. And of course, if this is your second back leg that you're making, you don't want to slide these cap bands on while you're looming. You want to put them on the bottom side first and then loom over. I'm going to tie off the end and take this off. Sorry if that part with the cap bands and everything is... I made it hard to understand, like, I didn't explain it well. 
So sorry if I didn't explain it well. So you can adjust and bend your back leg a little bit. Um, so go ahead and make your second back leg. I've already made mine. So go ahead and make your second back leg. Make sure you have both of your front legs too. And then we have our head and sail thing. Now the last part that we're going to be doing is the wing. So this part, um, I'll show you what I did. So top row, actually don't do that, don't do that, don't do that yet. First, what we're going to do, um, take two orange bands at a time, go down five times. Three, four, and five. Um, um, cap off the end with three. Th you can do three loops. Um, you can also do four. I just did three. Doesn't really matter. Now we're gonna take, let me see what I did. Take an orange and a um, neon green, or not neon green, an orange and a neon orange. Um, so that's two bands and put them on each peg. You don't need to put it on the cap, the cap band peg though. You don't, you don't need to put it on either of the end pegs. I'm gonna do this for all the middle pegs. Like that. Now, I'm going to show you how to make little claw, like claws, I think, that go in the wing. So, take a gray band, wrap it around four times, double loop of gray, slide on the cat band, reclaim, and then you're just going to double loop a gold. And then that's your claw. So you're gonna dig down here. Um, try to loom up the those two bands. Something happened. Yeah, yeah so nothing happened. So you can take off these. I'm gonna do that over again. Um, pretend like nothing happened. Okay, so you want to take off these, the hold the loose bands that go in that peg. You're gonna go under the um, cap band, loom up the two bands. Lift up all four of those loops and then slide on the claw. And then loom, loom over and then lift up the top two and then replace the loose bands and then put it back. Sorry if that was very complicated. I'm gonna loom up the next one normally. And so I loom to this peg, then go to this peg, take off those loose bands. So you want to make make another of those claws. I have one right here. Um, so go grab the bottom two orange loops on the peg that you loomed up to, loom them over, lift up the four loops, slide on that claw. Reclaim, lift up the top two. I think one loop slipped off. Okay, so I'm gonna lift up the top two. 
and I'm going to replace those two loose bands and then replace those two. Loom up the next two and then you can loom up the next two, lift up the four loops and slide on the claw and then replace the loops. So that last one was a little bit easier and we can just tie off that end and make sure all your claws are facing this way like that and then pull up or pull on your loose bands so they're all facing the opposite way um, take this off the loom and then you can pull on the loose bands a little bit more so they're all facing so it looks like this this can be like the bottom of the wing since this is a one loom project and I need to do two parts of the wing to make it a little bit bigger since I can't lose, use two looms. So now the rest of the wing, I'll show you what to do. Two gold bands at a time, go down ten times on the top row once you've done that. Go down twice with two yellow bands in the middle row. And then in the bottom row, go down once with an orange and a, and a neon orange. And then go diagonally upwards with a yellow and a neon orange. Then diagonally downwards with a yellow and neon, or actually, <clears throat> a yellow and neon orange diagonally upwards. Then a yellow and neon orange just there. Then one downwards. And then with yellow, just two yellows at a time, go down five times. And then with a, uh, Neon orange and a yellow, go down once. Two neon oranges, and then go to the bottom row where you went right here. Two neon oranges, and neon orange and orange. Two neon oranges, neon orange and orange. Two neon oranges. Then a neon orange and a yellow, go diagonally upwards, and then two yellows. Oh, sorry if I was talking like super fast, that was um, exhausting. So now, what we're going to do is okay I'm going to take a neon orange actually no I'm not actually yeah, I'm going to take a neon orange and a yellow on these three pegs and then take this little piece that we made with a spike with a claws on it. Um, go through the capping the cap band, which was on one side. Make sure that it's on this side. So go through the capping bands and put it onto that peg. Like that. And then go through the next the the set that was at the other end. Go through all four loops, take off the tying band and and put that all four loops onto that peg right there. So now we can use these loose bands, so the two loose bands right here, pull them all the way across those three. Um, these loose bands can go all the way across those three, all the way across, and all the way across. Actually, not all the way. Just those two. Like that. Not all the way up, but just halfway. And then I'm gonna take a double loop, um, a double looped neon orange right there. You can lift up those top two, put it there, replace them, doesn't really matter. Double loop neon orange right there. I'll lift up the top one, I guess. Put it there, replace. Now, we're gonna do the rest of the cat bands in yellow. I'm just gonna put them like this first, wrapping them around each peg twice.
so I can double loop them. And then pull them down like this. Um, now I am going to make the uh, claw that goes right here. So with a gray band, wrap it around your hook four times, double loop a gray, pull on the gap band, reclaim, double loop another, gr another gray, and then double loop a gold and that's the claw we're going to place it on to this end set right there and then we're going to dig down under the under there to grab the top two yellow bands loom those diagonally and then on the Sorry, on the top, I'm going to loom down four times with the two gold bands, so grabbing the bottom two. Make sure to avoid the holding bands. Don't loom those, just loom the gold. So I loomed up to this peg. Go to the next peg, lift up these holding bands, and just leave them there temporarily. Dig down, loom up the gold bands. Um, like that. We're going to make a little claw so with gray wrap it around four times double loop and then take take two bands two gold bands and pull that on I'm gonna lift up all four loops of that thing that we loomed up slide this on Replace, re, um, replace the four loops, lift up the top two, put this, the, the double loop yellow back, and replace those two loops. Now you can loom two more times down, and this, take down that holding band, and then this holding band a little bit. So get these solar yellow bands, make cap bands, um, and then slide one onto this peg. Make another, slide one onto this peg, and one more on that peg. Now we can replace the holding bands so the two yellow loops go there, and these go there. Now we're gonna make some more um, cap bands. So make it wrap around four times, loom up, slide on, loom over, make another, dig down, grab the bottom two, loom up, slide on, loom over, one more time. Grab the bottom two, loom up, slide on, loom over. That's the top rope. Now we're gonna dig down here, loom up the top two. They go diagonally down. Then we're gonna loom up this middle row. Gotta dig down, go up the bottom two loops and on each peg. Make sure to avoid the holding bands and don't loom them because you're not, that'll mess it up. Um, stop right there. It's on the fourth peg from this end. Now we're gonna go down here in the bottom, loom up the bottom two neon orange on each set. There, grab the bottom two, loom up. Then you can go here, loom up those two. Now loom up the top two, diagonally downwards. And here you can loom up those and those. Loom up those two. And then take 
two, two orange bands go into this peg. It's the second to last on the bottom, on the third row. Grab the two orange, pull them through, and then claim them onto your hook. And then you can just tie that off with a random colored band. So you have an extra set there. Now you can tie off the rest of the three sets. Um, we're almost done. We, st we still have to do the wing veins. Of adjusting right now because first I'm just gonna make the wing veins so what I'm gonna do um, so you it looks wonky right now because they're the veins are not in so you see this top claw go under it into that space below stick your hook through grab two gold bands pull them through like this and go into the, the gap below and grab them on this side. So that's one. Go again with two bands. Pull them through everything and then into that gap. Now I'm going to take one band, pull it through, and then go into these four loops of the gold that are on that um, claw. Grab the loop, the gold loop on this side and pull it through everything. And then you can wrap that on the claw. Like that. Um, so there's one wing vein. We're going to make two more. So go back into this space under that claw. And grab two. Now we're going to um, go to... Now we're going to go from here to that claw. So we're going to go diagonally. So grab two of those gold bands and go towards this claw into that space. Two more, pull it through, and then almost at that claw. And take one more, one gold band, pull it through all, pull it through everything. Go, th go into that four loops of the gold set of the claw. Go into this side, pull that loop, pull it through everything, and wrap it around. So there's two wing veins now. We just need to make one more from here to there. So go into here, that space under that big claw. Um, take two golds, pull them through, go into this next gap. Make sure you're going a little bit diagonally so we, so we can go to that next claw in that direction. Go into that space. And now I'm just going to get one gold, pull it through everything. Go into the four loops of the four, four gold loops of the claw. Grab this side, pull it through every. everything, and then wrap that around the claw. So you got four, um, you got the three veins. This should be your wing. You can do some adjusting. Um, and then go ahead and make another one. Doesn't have to be exactly symmetrical because then you can, you can just like bend it the other way. If you want it to be a symmetri symmetrical um, but I've already made my other wing. Let me just do a little bit of adjusting. I, I've already made my other wing right there. Um, and then right here. So I've got 
make by the end of this video after you make the next wing you should have two wings two front legs two back legs and your head neck and sail piece in the next video part part two we are going to be making the body thank you for watching um i'm sorry again for my inactivity um you can go to on to my instagram the link should be in the description if it's not um just it's alex underscore creative underscore corner um i have I make, I make um, more posts on there with of things that don't have tutorials. And thank you for 450 subscribers on YouTube. And thank you for 1,900 followers on Instagram. Um, and it's almost... I, it's, and it's almost 21, 2021. Yay. So I'll see you in part two. And... Hope your dragon is coming along well. And this wasn't too hard to follow. Bye.